hear that. The sizzling, I, smell that. I'll be honest with you, I wasn't hearing it as much as I was smelling it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to share with you here in a little bit, maybe, um, <laughs> just how good we are having in the Del Marble Life Kitchen today with uh, Nectar Cafe and Juice Bar, yeah. who have come in today to help us out with some uh, cauliflower steak. Yeah, this look, is gonna be looking awesome. forward to that. They're busy over there in the kitchen. Well, earlier in the show, Sean introduced us to a young woman named Miriam who started painting for a purpose right here in Historic Studio D. So it's time now to see what fuels her passion. So we're gonna check in with Sean, who has Miriam's inspirational story. Yeah, Lisa and Jimmy, I have a feeling a lot of people will be able to relate to Miriam uh, of Cambridge. That's why we wanted to share her story with you. Now, Miriam over here, she's painting. She's been painting since the beginning of the show. I'm going to peel you away from this. I want to let you get back to work in just a second, Miriam. I want to talk to you about uh, painting and the story that kind of you're telling in your painting. Can you tell me about that? Well, the story I'm trying to tell in this painting is pretty much independence of a woman and what they go through when they get diagnosed with cancer. It seems like some people think that they're weak, but really I'm trying to empower them through strength and just uplift them through my art. And now cancer has touched you, actually, more yes, specifically uh, your mother. Yes, it has. It has. Well, my mother was diagnosed with stage three cancer in the beginning of this year, February. So she pretty much has inspired me to use my art to touch others who also been affected by breast cancer. How is she doing now? She's doing great. She's right now in remission, which we're really thankful, and she's continued to keep pushing forward and in trying to heal as she was diagnosed with breast cancer. Now, uh, we know breast cancer can sometimes run in the family. Is that the case in your family? It, it has not run in my family. So that's why I want to bring awareness about this because even though it hasn't been run in our family, we want to at least let people know about this. So what's life, uh, life like with you, uh, for you, with your mother, living through this disease? Um, it first was discouraging, especially seeing the one that I feel really was like the rock of our family. But to have her go through this and everybody support her and now she's pretty much uplifted. We all pretty much are now uplifted as well. So has it changed the, the family at all? It has. It pretty much makes us feel that we don't take things for granted. Mm -hmm. So we are much stronger than before than we were. We're, our bond is much more stronger. And so now you're using your talents to raise awareness yes. for breast cancer. Yes. And you have a couple of events coming up in October, Breast yes, Cancer Awareness Month. Yes. Can you tell me about those? Well, I have uh, an event in October the 8th. I have an art show. The proceedings are dedicated to my mother for her medical expenses because, of course, having to be diagnosed with that going back and forth towards the hospital, we want to sit there and be there for her, especially during this time and October the 21st is going to be also a sip and paint where everybody can come together as a community have a good time but we also want to honor those who are also affected by breast cancer so the proceedings will go towards them and also cancer research so your artwork is going to be on display yes it will at the gallery yes it will and then you're going to be running the sip and paint yes I'll be running it <laughs> would you say that painting was therapeutic for you during this uh, tough time with your family it really has and also has been therapeutic to my mother as well she also came to the events right after her surgery so it pretty much helped her feel good be around people who love her and encourage her during that time yeah, so you find uh, I guess you find therapy wherever you can and yes. for you it was painting and I want you to step aside because you're painting you're working on it actually now you're sketching so yeah, first sketching. you sketch and mm -hmm. then you paint and we're doing uh, Marilyn Monroe mm -hmm. why Marilyn Monroe of course we all know Marilyn Monroe <laughs> of course of her her body of course and the reason why I wanted to let everyone see what I'm doing because I feel like I can use her to as well express breast cancer awareness and also being checked as well mm -hmm. so that's why I wanted to use her because she's really an icon but you're making this kind of you're making it sort of like a pop art yeah type pop art type feel. feel yes and she's gonna have a tattoo if I, oh, if I yes. understand correctly yes, so it's yes. gonna be really a, cool a pink ribbon of uh -huh. course so we want to bring awareness all right, well, I want to let you get back to work. Thank it's you. taking shape, Jimmy and Lisa. How about this, Marilyn Monroe being painted right here <laughs> in Historic Studio D. Super cool, isn't it? Wow. That is super cool. And you know, I, I got my Sharpie so that I've decided that I'm going to get people to draw and do different things on my, my cast here. Okay. I, I'm going to hit Miriam up to do a pink ribbon on my cast. For a second, I thought you were going to say Marilyn Monroe. So. <laughs> Kind of cool. That would be kind of cool, <laughs> but I can see the pink ribbon too. That would, yeah, that would make a lot of absolutely. sense. Absolutely.